Hello and welcome to this video of Machine Learning Do It Yourself series. In the last video we talked about C5.0 decision tree classification in which we used the data set from balance scale data set. We have used this data set for KNN algorithm as well. So in the last video we reached here wherein we have divided the data set between train and test and train has 550 records where test was having 75 records. Let's see ahead. So let's train the model. In order to train the model we will have C5.0 which is the keyword. This is the training data set and remember the first column is class so in this we do not want to include class and that's why I have minus one which is don't include the first column and here I have one which will be your target class so predictors and target so let's do this model let's summarize this model so for model summary so it tells it tells us that it used this used 550 cases with five attributes and this is a tree but this is a textual representation of the tree we want a graphical representation and that's why we will do a plot and if you zoom it's kind of complex because you have 550 cases but it tells it's less than 2 or greater than 2 how it's gonna you know divide and somebody would be some some cases would be balanced some cases would be left to the right and and various different things. Now let's do some predictions. So predict predict using the C50 model and this is the test data set. Let's do predictions and see what it says here. So this is how it predicted class based on the test data set. Now let's see how accurate it is. So compare and you see that this is the predicted and this is the actual and for one instance it's, it's predicting one balance but it's actually the right value, right biased value. So left it's predicting it's not predicting so much so let's improve the model and let's get into some details on C50 structure the decision tree syntax so let's improve the performance keeping everything same as the last time I'm gonna add trials equals 10 this means that it's gonna pass through 10 different cycles of this training data set. Let's see the summary and you can see that there are 10 trials trial 9, trial 8 so on and so forth and it's kind of training it in each pass. Now see let's, let's see how much does it improve in predictions also there are two types of methods the first one is class and the other one is probability P R O B so let's do a class prediction and let's compare so now it's the numbers are looking better 
because this is predicting right when it is balanced this is right when it's left and so on let's do the same thing on probability which is for the method equals to prob so here I'm gonna write method equals prob and now let's do comparison so this and the class almost look the same but it is still better than without trials when there was no trial so I repeat and recap on what we have done the first is we read the data set we divided the data set into train and test then we trained the C 5.0 model using the train and then we predicted using the test we did not find the right mix so we added trials in the model training and again we trained the model this is gonna pass through 10 times and for prediction there are two types of prediction methods class and probability for this data set we did not find any difference between class and prob but for other data sets you can definitely observe some kind of a difference thank you for watching